Well, ladies and gentlemen, part of what our next phase of the GP Grows program is, is the city of Grand Prairie is planting edible gardens all across our city. And this is the one that we're sitting at right now here at the Coca-Cola Center. But in this garden, we have all sorts of vegetables from Swiss chard to tomatoes, to radishes, to beets, to carrots. And it's all gonna be growing here throughout the summertime. And you can watch us as we progress as well. Like we said, we want you to share with us. Well, we wanna share with you as well how our gardens are growing here in the city of Grand Prairie. And uh, Amy, I don't know, I'm kind of a beginner at this. Uh, why do we got all this, I don't know, paper? It looks like kind of tape. I was told it was tape. So what Chris is referring to is called seed tape and it's kind of a quick and easy way to plant your garden to cut down on the work you have to do after with thinning. When you're planting crops that are gonna grow edible roots, things like carrots and beets and radishes, the root is what you're going to eat. And so in order to have something big enough to eat, they have to be spaced a certain amount apart. The seed tape has the seeds embedded in the tape at a better spacing than what you'll achieve if you just scatter your seeds or try and plant them individually. So if you're using seed tape to plant, it does cut down on thinning later, so it's definitely an easier way to go. But if you're using loose seeds, try and space them according to the spacing indicated on the seed package for distance apart that they have to be. The seed package will also tell you the depth to plant your seeds. If you plant them too deep, they won't be able to reach the sunlight. And if you plant them too shallow, they might dry out before they can germinate. In order to plant, you just dig a trench in your soil. Make sure your soil is nice and loose. You can see how nice our soil is here. Lay your seed tape in the bottom of your trench and cover it over with soil. Firm it down with your hand, give it a water, and you're done. So we're in the learning garden here right now. And ladies and gentlemen, you can uh, follow and track all of this garden and its growth throughout the summer by going to www.cityofgp.com backslash GP grows. Of course, hashtag GP grows will be all over social media for anybody who's interested to see how this garden progresses and how quickly we're getting the food 